Annalie, I thank you so much for coming in and welcome back to Toronto. Thank it's you. always good to have you here. Um, what a terrific film. And I wanted to ask you, you know, Mrs. Grind, it's all about gambling and, you know, it's got a whole big, you know, huge story behind it, but at the end of the, you know, at the heart of it is the gambling. And, you know, wh wh how, how familiar are you with gambling? You know, do you do it? Do you like to go to Vegas and do that kind of stuff? Or you kind of just try to keep away? I've gone, I've gone to Vegas uh, once, really, and, and I ended up, um, I think it's Treasure Island has an arcade for kids. Underneath that, I believe it's Treasure Island, and that's basically where I stayed. Um, and when I was in the third grade, I almost got suspended for starting a gambling ring and gambling our parents' jewelry. Uh, but that's about my experience with with it. And and I've played cards before. When I was in um, when I was filming Mississippi Grind, there was a casino right across from where we were, and um, I went there, won some stuff lost some stuff, was back at zero, and, and felt very happy. That was the thrill for me, not winning things, but being able to play yeah. till you had a blast and not come out having lost anything. I agree, it's great if you can control it like that, 100%, or just go for some like $25 of entertainment, or $100 or whatever it is, and then, you know, come out even. Free fun, if you can manage that for a few hours. Amazing. You're gold. You're gold. <laughs> so what was it about the script? And I'm sure that you get a lot of stuff coming your way. What was it that kind of drew you to this one? Um, the directors. Knowing that they were directing it, I've been enormous fans of them. And they, they were on my director dream list. Um, so it really could have been any, <laughs> any role, to be honest. Um, and I would have wanted to be a part of it, and especially yeah. with the cast that they gathered. Well, tell me about working with these directors, because I mean, yes, they've given us such great films, I mean, oh my goodness, and they're phenomenal writers too, and what was it like to have them when you have, especially when you have co-directors too, how does that work, and how does, you know, how do they separate or manage to do what they do? They're so fantastic. Well, I've worked with a good amount of co-teams now, and I, I think the success of it is that they, they just understand each other. There's no, you know, really debating on set, and if it is, I think uh, for, for Anna and Ryan, they really separated. Uh, Anna would have a scene, Ryan would have a scene, and they let each other really creatively go about that way. And then sometimes, you know, the actors gel with sure. one director more than the other, and they, they kind of pick up on that quickly. Um, but it's it's nice. I, I like the different opinions. I actually like working with co-directors because I'm someone that needs a lot of information in my everyday life. And so uh, I try to not rely on that with work. But it's nice when you get two different takes on something and then I can kind of figure out uh, what the center of what they mean is. Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah, well, you, you do a great job, so there you Thank go. You. Um, magicians, uh, is this uh, something on your radar? Like, do you, uh, when you were a kid, playing, you know, pulling uh, rabbits out of hats and things I, like that? I did have a magic set. It came in like a metal briefcase and it had a wand, which is basically, I think, all I wanted um, out of it. And I got to actually work with a magician who is fantastic. We really made the, the, the little piece personal and he worked to rig my jacket up appropriately and um, gave me a little foam ball to figure out how to do things with and I OCD'd on trying to figure out my hands are just not um, very uh, graceful in, in holding anything. Um, there's a word for that, but I'm forgetting it. Um, <laughs> and it was it was quite the challenge yeah. to to be able to do that. Yeah. So w did you enjoy that though? That's yeah. A, that's a cool skill to learn. When I mean, whenever you get to come into a role and you get to learn a skill, that's one of my favorite little side perks. Sure. Um, and I've got to do that, gotten to do that numerous times, and it's that that's such a unique. Experience today. I'm learning this. Yes, that's I think part of the appeal. Yeah. In general. Yeah, that was fantastic. Okay, so let's just talk about your amazing co-stars in this film. So let's start with our Canadian boy Ryan Reynolds. I mean, really, one of the nicest guys in the world, and not just because he's Canadian. I mean, he just is. Oh, what he's was it like really to nice. He's just incredibly nice. Uh, I, I did Sundance with both of them, and they could not like leap out of their seats sooner to to make sure that I had a hand to get up and open doors for everyone um, but that's that's the ideal I mean I've never worked I probably with any um, young actors especially who are that sensitive to 
other people and, and concerned about making sure everyone is taken care of. And, um, and that's fantastic. Mm -hmm. They really set a, a great energy and it was a unique energy because we were set in Louisiana. We were at these dive bars and it was kind of a magical um, experience that way. They were starting out, we, we, Sienna and I shot for the first two weeks and then um, the boys were off to shoot the rest of the movie on this road epic trip. road trip yeah. that they were going on and Sienna and I were very envious because we really got close to everyone and especially in our characters and in this very intimate world that the directors allowed us to live in. Um, it was heartbreaking to watch them go off and, you know. Yeah, not fair, not fair. <laughs> what impressed you about Ryan, though? Like, what, ultimately, when you started to watch him work? I, I, his, his presence, I mean, I mean that's, that's difficult because he's just, um, he's so professional that he, he's perfected how he works. He, he um, is prepared. All of them were, um, uh, yeah. Yeah. No, it's. I know it's hard sometimes to put your finger on it because when you're in, well, especially when they're when they're so good at it, it's it's it sounds just. I, I'm trying to figure out a format for an interview to put it in. Yeah. Um, he was an exceptional worker, yeah. <laughs> and obviously made it easy for you. You know, you would think, right? Because when it's so natural like that for you, it makes your job a little easier, I would think. Very giving, yeah. very giving. All of them, all of them were. Um, yeah. One thing I did remember as I've been doing interviews is how present the cast was, mm -hmm. which um, isn't always the case. A lot of the time, you in, when cut happens, everyone gets out their phone, and you kind of go back to being yourself. Mm -hmm. And this wasn't that world. We had Ben would bring around a, a jam box kind mm -hmm. of thing, and we'd play um, old music right up until action. Um, which I've never done on set before because it's never really been allowed. Yeah. And it's the best way to get comfortable with the situation, totally just the entire crew the yeah. vibing out to, you know, Steppenwolf. And That's awesome. Oh, I love Ben Mendelsohn. His new show got Netflix bloodline. He's just amazing. Like, what a great actor, too. Now, what an amazing cast all together in this. What great. Must have been a really fabulous experience for you working on this one, I would think. It was. It's been my favorite role, I believe, I've, I've done. Um, because she was very still. It was, it was quite important to me for that reason. So what is it now when you get scripts? What are you looking? What are you looking for? I'm sure I know you've got like a bunch of things coming coming your way and you're going to start shooting and then you've got in the can. But what is it ultimately, you know, you get this and you're like, well, all right, why, why would I want to take this role? For me, it really has to do with uh, who's involved, um, who the director is, who the other cast members are, because I can I can give, uh, dive into whatever creative take I have on a role, but I still feel like it really depends on, I, I hope to consistently be working with people way beyond my comfort level of talent. I think that's, if, if any challenges, it would be working with quality individuals yeah. that are nice and that you like, hopefully. Exactly, <laughs> and that you learn from, for sure, right? Certainly. I mean, I think, yeah, if you're challenging yourself, you're, you're always going to learn yeah. Well, good learn for something. you. Well, awesome. Good. Congratulations on this. Welcome back to Toronto, as I said, and always good to have you here for TIFF. And just keep up the great work. It's always a pleasure to talk to you. Thank you. Thank you very much.